Hmm. Good evening, people. Hello, Daniel. Hello. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Veronica. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Now I hope uh you are okay. We're gonna wait for the rest. Well, but we can start by doing something, right? So, how how was your day, Daniel? My day it was good. Uh, yesterday, cool. <laughs> yeah, yesterday you were guessing about about the activities your boss uh, were going to tell you today, right? <laughs> uh, el, bring the report. Ese sí me... Ah, ese sí se lo pidió. Ese sí me lo pidió, sí. <risa> se acordó de la clase, Daniel. Ah, la... <risa> Pero le dijo, please, print the, print the report. Sí. Ok. <risa> y lo demás sí no me dijo. No, no le pegamos a todos, pero que sea uno, uh -huh. sí, Daniel. Hey, eso está súper. Ok, what about you, Berenice? Yeah, I use something. I shake my setting on computer, and the the result the the last day and the last week. Okay. All right. So more people are just getting into the class now. You can see uh, Claudia, Ronan, Oscar. Okay, welcome to the class, people. Welcome to the class. Okay, now, uh, 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 Daniel, tell me, did you learn something, an expression in English today, or maybe a quote that you want to share with the, with the group? Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, let us know about it, please, Daniel. And also, very nice, be ready, because we're going to take advantage of timing what the rest of the people gather, okay? You only fail when you stop trying. You fail when you, you stop fail. trying. When you okay. stop trying. That's a, that's a, a really nice quote. That's the expression you learned today, Tanya. Come on. That is the expression you learned today. Mm. That is the quote, right? That you that you learned. You stop. Uh, you stop. No. What? How's? How, what is the quote, Tanya? Well, yeah, what is, you stop uh, learning? Solo fallas cuando dejas de intentarlo. Ah, ah. You fail when you stop learning. Uh, when you stop trying, right? Right, you stop trying. Yeah, just, all right, very good. Excellent. Berenice, do you, do you, have, do you have something for the group? Yeah, it's the little sentence that you don't, you don't be afraid, you are amazing. Don't be afraid. You're amazing. Don't be afraid. Hey, don't be afraid of committing mistakes, okay? So mistakes are very, I mean, it's, it's a natural process in which we need to go through, okay? So it's necessary, actually. So because if we, if we don't if we don't commit uh, mistakes, so what are we doing right here? It's supposed that we are over here to learn. <laughs> we know, we don't know everything, right? So we don't know everything about Spanish either. Okay, hey, Jonathan came to the class tonight. Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, class. Hey, we missed you yesterday. What? We missed you yesterday. Oh, yeah. I, I have a problem with uh, light and storm and rain, rain. Yeah, I saw the report. Don't worry, because I know. Okay. okay. I, I, I saw the report. Okay, so but welcome. Edgar. Good evening, Oscar, Ronan, Aiden, Cloud. Okay, Claudia. Claudia will be as a listener as far. Ah, oh, no, no, it's not Claudia. It was Teresa, right? And I also have uh, Clarice. Well, more people are just getting into the class. Give me a second. I will check the list attendance. Now I have more people, more participants here, and I need to do it as quickly as possible. Aiden. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right, Belen. Good evening. Claudia Veronica. Good evening. Daniel. Good evening. 
Good evening. Uh, Dina Maribel, good evening. Let's see what Oscar said. All right, pretty good, uh, Oscar. You will let us know about it later. Well, so Dina is not over here. Uh, Edgar, good evening. So Edgar, Edgar, can you listen? Good yeah, good evening. Gladys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right, Jonathan, good evening. Good evening. All right, uh, Maria Elba, good evening. Mario Cristobal, good evening. Berenice, good evening. Good evening. Michael, good evening. Hey, what's going on? Michael is, is, is... Michael, are you there? Michael's not here. So Michael, all right. Uh, Noe, good evening. Uh, Norma, good evening. Oscar, good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right. Rona, good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right. Teresa, good evening. And Veralis, good evening, Veralis. Are you here? No, Veralis is not out here. Ronan, Oscar, Michael, Jonathan, Clarice, Daniel, Claudia, and Berenice, eight and all. All right, so we're, I will check list attendance at the end, remember? To stay uh, 120 minutes over here, it's quite important. Hey, I can see, hey, I want to congratulate some people. Give me a second. Uh, I, I want I want to congratulate everybody, yes, but especially some people who already finished uh, activity from week number two. Uh, fel lo felicito porque todos están trabajando en la plataforma. Y este, pero felicito especialmente a algunos que se han, se han tomado el tiempo como para adelantar. Ok, algunos ya terminaron las actividades de esta semana, es válido. Recuérdense que el ritmo de aprendizaje ustedes lo, 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 lo adoptan, ¿verdad? Si usted dice, voy a aprender más rápido, voy a cumplir la, con las actividades más rápido, eso depende de ustedes. Nosotros no podemos prohibirles que lo hagan, ¿ok? Al contrario, les animamos a que eh, siempre se mantengan activos, ¿verdad? Haciendo una u otra actividad en inglés. Ok, so um, I'm going to start. Hey, Michael, you just came, right? And also Norma. Give me a second. Michael and Norma. Present. <laughs> ok. Ok, people, we're going to start. As soon as possible. Well, we're going to continue uh, working in the same order. It really uh, works. It really works or it works per per almost perfectly when, when we deal with basic level of English. So we have been studying about frequency adverb, simple present. Uh, imperative was the last topic, right? So actually, you are in charge of presenting like a snack snack tonight so be ready okay the people who will participate tonight with the recipe remember there is a there's an activity there was a homework in which you need to present a recipe okay so that's for tonight so be ready we have as always we have a lot of work to do and that's quite good so imperatives now, the examples that I have here are the following. So what, what are the rules to use imperative, people? When do we use imperatives, actually? I will ask somebody directly. Um, 
Well, Jonathan was not over here, just uh, uh, Daniel, when do we use uh, imperative or what are imperatives used for? When do we use them? When I, any activity to do, eh, or cuando le solicito a alguien que haga algo. All right. So, it, it, and yesterday we 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 studied about uh, positive imperatives and negative imperatives, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, Aidan, thank you, Daniel. Aidan, uh, do you remember know. when to when to say uh, imperative in negative form? Complementar la oración. No, I mean, how no. how 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 do we uh, say imperatives in negative? Yeah. For example, if I say, aha. ¿En qué momento utilizamos el imperative? Yeah, but in negative form, negative. How how do we use it? How do we create sentences in negative form? Yes. Um, No, if I say, ejemplo, un ejemplo, pues, yeah, no, yeah, no enviar correo, por ejemplo. Aha, uh -huh. so how do you say no. that in English? In positive, you say send an email, in negative, positive, send an email, negative, don't send an email, right? Don't send it yet. All right, so that's what we learned yesterday. Send it, don't send it. Supervise, then don't supervise, right? Don't write, check, don't check, send, don't send, call, don't call. So this is what we studied yesterday, people. So we're gonna solve these exercises. And, and let's see. So I hope everybody is just into the platform. Espero que todos estén en la plataforma y lo vayan en caso, en caso tengan alguna duda y lo podamos aclarar. Now, so over here I have the personnel. What is the verb that we need to use in the first one? Sin, check, or supervise? Supervise. 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 The personnel. Number two, the potential customers. Supervise, call, or check. Call, call the potential call the potential customers okay number three memos to the office personnel send yes. call or supervise yes. send memos to the office personnel number four that report call the report send the report or check the report check, check the report it may be sent also right actually i'm not sure about it Send the report, check the report. Well, let us try with one of them. Let us try with check. Number five, uh, a letter is just blue ink. Go write a letter. Write a letter, blue ink. Okay, Go write a letter, use blue ink. All right, so we're gonna send it. We're gonna send it and we're gonna check. All right, so that's fantastic. Now, if I say, uh, supervise the personnel, Aníbal, negative form. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, supervise uh, uh, don't, don't the personnel. Uh, no, listen, the, the sentence is like supervise the personnel. Ne negative, don't supervise the personnel. Once again, Aníbal. Uh, supervise the personnel. Negative, Aníbal. Supervise uh, don't the personnel. Mm. No, not. No. no. Remember. Over here you say supervise, right? So supervise. When you have in the positive form, goes like this, right? So, but when don't, you... Don't uh, supervise the person. Yeah, remember that when you when you start, you need to use uh, that's, don't. That's, don't. Don't supervise the personnel. 
Okay, the only thing you need to include is don't actually to make it negative. We we're gonna say, all right, Neva. All right. Okay, then we have call the potential customers negative. Very nice. Don't call the potential customers. Don't call them. Uh, Daniel. Memos to the office personnel. Send. Memos to um, the office's personnel. Negative? Negative. Don't send memos to the office personnel. Thank you. Edgar? Check the report. Negative, Edgar. Don't check the report. Don't check the report. Now, you, are, you have to do something else. Uh, number five. This is the last one. Gladys? Write the letter. Yes, blue ink. Negative. Yeah. Don't write a letter, use blue ink. Now, don't write a letter, don't use blue ink, right? Okay. Yeah, negative in both, right? Because both are, are, are imperative. Thank you. Okay, people, hope you already sent this exercise in, in a platform that you already solved it. Okay, so what's the topic that's coming tonight? It's about this. What is the topic for tonight? How to use, how, how to, to need need you. To. Okay, so we have two verses. And actually, I, I'm going to include like two more. You will see uh, when we start with this topic. Okay, so we're going to try to go over the, uh, the some activities that we still have in the PDF. And I also have it here. Give me a second because I need to check. Yeah, I have this info. In order to provide further information, people. I encountered this info and I, I think it's quite important. It's quite good. So uh, I will make it bigger. Okay. Now, can you see clearly? Can you see clearly, people? Really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, do you see? Do you see it there? Do you see clearly? Let me see. I think it's better this way, right? So, well, I will try to go over this the information. Well, uh, I will share. I will share the link in the chat so that you can. You can see it later, right, as you wish. And I will also share it in the WhatsApp group. All right, so it's so there. So, so commands and instructions. It says this simple, right? So this is grammar. And it's providing a further information about giving commands. Okay. It says that we often use imperatives or commands, and we also use must. Okay. This, uh, this is a, an expression that you don't know, right? So we often use imperatives in commands, and we also use must, must. They, they both sound very direct. Okay, must is obligation, right? So must is obligation, people. Okay, so A, you, you must study hard. Wow, that is, that is you know, it's obligation, right? It's an obligation. You say must, then you say that something, um, I, I mean, it's an obligation to do something. They both sound very direct, okay? And we have some examples over here. Well, it says, stop talking now. Stop talking now. 
Now, who do you think will be will be the person uh, who has a lie? Uh, who, who is in charge of uh, telling somebody this expression? Le pudiéramos decir esto a un jefe de nosotros? Hey, stop talking now. No. No, right? <laughs> that's, that's impossible. So we need to be right. careful, right? When using commands. <laughs> o la mamá de nosotros o el papá de nosotros. Hey, stop talking now. No. <laughs> no, right? So it is not... It is not like that. So that's why imperatives or commands are used for people that are in charge of other people. Okay? That are taking care of other people. In this case, a father to his child. Now, do you think a father can ask a, a child to stop talking? Yes. Yes, right? So now yes. it's different, right? So a father can... Tell a child, hey, hey, you know what? Stop talking now. <laughs> All right. So look at this expression. Hey, don't press that button. <laughs> what about if you say if you say so to, to your boss? <laughs> so it's not suitable, right? And over here, so but a mother to a child, yeah, so that's possible, right? And over here we have the other expression, right? Hey, you must wear a coat. It's raining. So you must wear a coat. It's raining. So listen carefully because I told you that's an obligation, right? Hey, you must coat. You must uh, wear, sorry, a coat. It's raining. Davis, day. You must wear a coat. Debe de usar. Abrigo. Uh, ¿ah? <risa> abrigo. Yeah, you, you must wear a coat. Debes usar un abrigo. Está lloviendo. Ok. You must wear a coat. Más. Debes de. Ahora vamos a entrar con have to en, en need to. Y se van a dar cuenta que uh, va por, 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 por decrease. Va por grados. Ok. Hay uno que es como más fuerte que otro. No es lo mismo decir, hey, you have to wear a coat, then you must wear a coat. Pero eso lo van a ir viendo poco a poco. Now, look at the information we have here. There, there are a number of ways of making comments. Sound more polite. Yesterday we, we learned one. What was the expression to make it polite? Cortes. Yeah, I mean, but yesterday we learned an expression to... To say the command in a different way. Uh huh. What about if we include? Hey, do you think it's kind of rude? Say like, stop talking now. Es un poco rudo decirle al niño, okay, que que por que se que se calle. No creen que cuál fue la expresión que aprendimos ayer. Please, please, please stop. stop talking okay. now. Please stop talking now. You're interfering our, our talking. Uh, okay. Now, please don't press that button. Now, please, you must wear. Uh, uh, no, please, you must wear. No, no, that's impossible. Aquí si no podemos usar, please. Okay. Con más no podemos hacer eso. Porque es una obligación. Es como más directo. Now, there, there are a number of ways of making commands sound more polite. We can add please at the end of what we say. Or when we can use a question or we can use a question form to make a command sound more like a request. What's request, people? What's the meaning of request? Una what is it? Una solicitud. Okay, so that's different about a command, right? So it's a little bit different. It's like like when you say please do this, please do that. It's now when when it sounds like more like a request, it's like you know it's not that direct. Or we can use I like you too plus infinity. You know what infinity is? Infinity. 
Cuando, cuando vean la palabra infinitive, sepan que es cualquier verbo con el, con el, partic con el particle to. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos where, to wear, to rain, to study, to use, to make, to... Ok, so when you see to, to y un verbo, entonces eso se llaman infinitivo. Infinitives. Now, or I, I'll be grateful if you plus infinity, okay, plus infinity without two. Examples. Examples, examples. Ask Max to sign this form and then send it up immediately, please. Will you bring, now this is very polite, right? Hey, will you bring us the files on the Holly case, please, Maria? Okay, so the first one, ¿cómo lo hacemos como un poquito más, más polite, más amable? Bueno, le agregamos la palabra please. También podemos hacerlo como pregunta. Miren, hey, will you bring us the files on the Holly case, please, Maria? También podemos usar este. I like to bring us for coffees at 11 when we take a break in a meeting okay i like it to bring i like it to bring will you please okay so those are expressions that help us to make a command uh, to sound better i'd be grateful if you didn't tell hey i'd be grateful if you didn't tell anybody about this i'd be grateful okay so how many expressions Well, yesterday we learned about please. Ayer nos aprendimos a usar please con los commands. All right, miren. One is one expression, one question. Hey, will you bring us the files on the honey case, please, Maria? I like you to bring us four coffees at 11. I like you to bring. I'd be grateful if you didn't tell. So we got like three expressions more. Public notices. Public notices often give direct commands using no, do not, or must, okay? Giving instructions. We use instructions to tell someone how to do something. We usually use imperatives, okay? So imperatives to ask someone to do something, imperatives uh, to give or to provide instructions, okay? They do not sound too direct in the context. Bid for eggs. Now tell me, bid for eggs like this, then add the food gradually. Don't beat the eggs too much, though. So what is the verb, people? Meaning of this verb? Lie. Mm -hmm. Beat. Yeah, beat, beat for eggs, like this, then add the floor. Hey, what's the mean? Maybe we have some, some vocabulary here. Que okay. Golpear. Uh, okay. Golpear. Okay, okay. Beat. beat. Pero en este caso, aquí hay que, hay que aprender el contexto. Okay. Quebra your egg. Okay. Like this. Then add. You know this verb, add? What's the meaning of floor? Agregar harina. All right. And we have gradually. Now, don't be it. Nearly form, right? Too much. Dough. 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 Yeah, dough. Right? So, is it clear? Is the message clear? Now, the person is providing instructions. On how to replace a missing button. No, no but this is this is for, for this, right? So this is for this, and this is for cooking, right? This is like preparing a recipe. Okay. All right, now thread your needle. What's the meaning of this verb, thread? What's the meaning of this word, needle? What's the meaning of this expression, a piece of thread? 
What's the meaning of spot? Insert fabric and through. Okay, what's the meaning? How do you say thread in Spanish, people? Okay, now we got a new verb, right? Thread. Thread what? Oh. Needle. Yeah, what's needle? Clothes, aguja. Ah, okay, yeah. Sounds like, like better to say agujas in this case, right? Now, a piece of thread. With a piece of thread. Ah, uh, no, yes, right? So, now, listen, listen, listen carefully because we are discovering something. Oh, here is a verb, right? Aquí es un command, es un verbo, pero aquí ya no es un verbo. Se fijaron que ya no es un verbo. Es la misma palabra, pero aquí ya no es un verbo. ¿Qué es acá? Thread your needle with a piece of thread. Ya no es un verbo, es un nombre, ¿ok? About 25 centimeters long. Mark the spot. What spot, people? Spot. Spot. Yeah. Mark the spot. Lugar. Okay. Lugar. Okay. Where you want the bar. Insert the needle from the back of the fabric. Hey, what's fabric? Fabric, la tela. Ah, okay, so don't get confused. Some people think that fabric is fabrica. No, and it is not fabrica, people. How do you say fabrica in English? Factory. Factory. Ah, that's different, right? So the fabric refers to tela. Bring it through. Now, is it clear? I, I hope it's clear. So what are we doing? We are having some review about what we started yesterday and we are including some extra information. Now, when spoken English, when speaking, we often use the present oh. simple when we are giving instructions and demonstrations. And we say like, so like, so meaning like this. You, you fall, hey, what is this verb, people? Where is this verb? Fall. It is an if, right? If, full. Folder. Página. No, but in this case, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a verb. Huh? Ah, yeah. So this is the verb, full. Full, you fold the egg for piece of paper like so. Then, so, so this is like step number one. So when providing like directions, right? Direction number one, then you glue some shapes onto this side. This is like direction number two. And finally, you, you sprinkle some glitter on it like so. So providing what? Instructions. You, when providing instructions. So I have already prepared an activity uh, so that you can develop later. But you have a recipe tonight, right? So imperative closes, be quiet. Okay. Now, any question about this info? I think we include the extra information about it, right? No questions? Hello, hello. Hello, people. Any question? No question. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna continue. Uh, <laughs> not that's a surprise for you. Okay, so you remember about this homework, right? 
Yes or no? This is a activity in a page 40, uh, 24. 24. Yeah, 24. So do me the favor to go to the page 24, open your PDF file, and we're going to see what you did, okay? So what did you get from this? So we were like, like trying to get some mistake uh, regarding to grammar, but actually I think this is an activity in which you need to say like if the statement is correct or wrong, or if it is true or false, for example. His name is John Wilkins. Is that true? False. It is false. His name is John Wilson. His name is John Wilson. False. His name. John Wilson. Okay, I will ask somebody else about it, okay? So you can let me know what's coming in this part. Uh, second one, he writes reports every day. Michael, here or false? Uh, true. Where is the information? Read the information, please. Mm, I always answer the phone and talk to the potential employer. I always answer the phone, but it says write reports. Thank you. Is correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Correct. So it, it is. It, it's correct. It's incorrect. Yeah, it is false. Then, so where is the sentence? Can me ayuda a digitar la oración? In the chat. He writes reports every day. So how will, how will you complete the sentence here? Or how will you correct the sentence? What does he do every day? Checks email. Ah. Every day. He checks emails for Check. the company every day? He checks. Oh, give me a second. It is not actually his. It is he checks emails for the company, right? Every day. Number three, he never answers the phone and talk to customers. Ah, yeah, Berenice has a different one over here, okay? So let's analyze it because 
And this is also, uh, it can be done this way also, but let us check something here, please. He checks in me, lo puede escribir de manera negativa también. But there is something over here. ¿Qué le podemos mejorar a esta oración? The auxiliar do, dos Ah, okay, pretty good. The auxiliary do needs to be changed, right? So in here, right? Do doesn't. Doesn't write reports every day. Good. So that's a different option, right? Uh, we'll switch into the blue one again. Well, I will erase this because, you know, I cannot move on. I cannot continue. Now, what about number three, people? He never answered the phone and talked to customers. True or false? False. False, right? False. So it's the opposite. Yeah. How, how do you write down the sentence? He always answered the phone. So it's the opposite, right? So he always answers the phone. And that's it. I will leave it like that, right? So you know the rest of the story. Okay, he often attends meeting in the morning. True or false? False. That's false. Where is the sentence? Where is the correct sentence? He often attends meetings in the morning. Type it in the chat so that I can get it. General, general. Type it, please, number four. So we're going to finish with this. So he often attends meetings in the morning. He never attends, right? So it may be the opposite. Yes or no? He he often or he never? What does it say over here? He often or he never? He never. He never attends meetings. In the morning. Okay, maybe like that, right? Uh, he never attends meeting in the afternoon. So actually, what do we have, people? I attend meetings in the morning. So that, that was actually... And not often in the afternoon. So it may be the, I'm working uh, differently over here. So it is the opposite, right? So this is correct. Okay. This one is correct. So he often attends meetings in the morning, but he never attends meetings uh, in the afternoon. But the problem is that he said never, right? I always, okay, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. Uh-huh. So he never attends meetings in the afternoon so often. Okay, so that will be the next one. In case, I will, I will delete this one, okay? 
So in over here, so this is correct because he he often attends meeting in the morning. So actually, this is correct, people. This is true, right? So he often he often attends uh, meetings in the morning, and he never attends in the afternoon. This is false because it says not so often, right? So he he rarely we can use a, a, another uh, frequency adverb. He say he rarely uh, attends meetings in the afternoon. Okay, he rarely attends meetings in the afternoon. Now, uh, he usually has events in his company, true or false, people? Hello? Hello, hello? Are you there? False. He that's it's, it's, oh. it's false, false, right? So it's false because he always he said it says always uh, Jonathan uh -huh. what's the correct answer um they always have even no sé bueno pues siempre tienen ah es falso it's it's false because the person say usually right and the in the frequency adverb is always yes or no. Always. Uh, yeah. So the problem is the frequency. Adverb. He often or he always has events in his company. Okay. He always okay. has events. I think that's the info, right? So do me a favor to check it, please. How many favor the 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 verlo ahí en en la lectura? He always. Has events. But that's kind of weird, right? In his company. So that may be in the number six. And the last one. He has to go to a conference on July the second. True or false? That is true, right? So the last one is true. That's correct. Okay, I hope that you have already finished, that you have finished the activity. Okay, people? Because... I, I hope you... You had the opportunity to practice what we started yesterday. Okay, so that was something that we uh, started last time, and well, we're almost uh, we're almost starting with the topic for tonight. But before going to that part, we're gonna spend like like twelve minutes listening to your participation about uh, recipes you studied. Vamos con la con la actividad que les quedó pendiente de las de las recipes. De las recetas, ok. Si tienen ingredientes, si alguien, si alguien pues se tomó la molestia de tener ahí algunos ingredientes y mostrarnos cómo se hacen un, un bocadillo acá en, en cámaras, en vivo y en directo, pues háganlo, no tengan ninguna pena, ok. So vamos, vamos a comenzar. I will stop sharing this. Luego que terminemos con esa actividad, vamos a comenzar con el tema de esta noche, ok. Need to and have to okay so we have two verbs tenemos dos verbos que estudiar esta noche pero antes de eso quiero escucharlos a ustedes con la tarea well hoy vamos desde abajo Ronan hello Ronan 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 are you there 
just let me know if you're ready or if you're not if you're not ready just le le let me know Oscar Antonio Ok, teacher, este, ahorita se la digo. Ok. El mío es de ensalada de fruta. Okay. Uh, ingredients. No, one. how do you, give me a second, how do you say ensalada de fruta in English? Uh, fruit salad. Fruit salad, all right. Uh, ingredients. One banana, two apples, three orange. Uh, four strawberries, five great. Uh, preparation. Wash the strawberry, the apples, and the grapes. Peel the banana. Add that I'll do to sleep the fruit. Putting put in a bowl. Uh, put orange juice over the fruit. Ese sería el método de pre de preparación. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, Norma? Good evening. Hello? Eh, eh, me pregunta esto, porque ahorita está haciendo esto. Ah, okay, so. No ok, Norma, I will ask you later, ok? Michael. Yes, teacher. Ok, Michael, let us know about the recipe you investigated. <coughs> The other side is chicken and potatoes. Uh, the other side for the chicken and potatoes that surprise everyone and quick and complicated lunch. Uh, I will start by putting six chicken legs on both sides so that's in his way as um doing this good every we are going to do it so that's our chicken legs can be seasoned very good guys you recipe with chicken legs and potato is very delicious and it is also super easy to make i'm sure that's everyone. I will like like the result you have already made the cuts on both sides. I will add I will add the six chicken legs to a bowl and the and the I'm going to season by adding a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of oregano, and tablespoon of garlic powder, and tablespoon of paprika powder, a pinch of salt, and with my hands, I'm going to season the chicken everywhere. All well seasoned recipe. I'm going to leave, leave marinate the chicken for uh, 40 minutes. Um, also, if you have it longer, you will get a better flavor when the chicken is marinated in a pot. I'm going to add the three medium size potatoes cooking this way. And I will add enough water to cover them completely. Seasoning is with teaspoon of covered salt and let it cook over the medium heat for 10 minutes or units are soft. 
After the sun has passed, passed and the potato and potatoes are soft, turn off the heat and drain all the water in a, a pan, pan. I will add a teaspoon for a butter and stir you until the porridge is medley. That's all, teacher. Okay, thank you, Michael. Okay. A very detailed uh, recipe, a very detailed recipe. Thank you, Michael. And after Michael, we have... Uh, Mario Cristobal. Hello, Cristobal, are you there? Hello, teacher, uh, sorry. <laughs> Pues no hice la tarea, teacher, no me quedo lugar. Okay, so try to do it now because I will ask you at the end, okay? Or if, uh, I mean, so if, if you're not able to complete it tonight, you are going to let us know about it tomorrow or on Friday because we have a lot of practice uh, to, um, yeah, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Okay. All right. So let me see, Michael, Maribel. Hello, Maribel. Well, Maria. Mm, okay, teacher. Sería pizza de pepperoni. Okay. En ingredients, tomato, and pizza más. Mozzarella, pepperoni, rice, cheese, salami, and oregano. And sweet on the mask, spray a layer of tomato and pass it with the hell of a uh, mix, mix, what is it? And then place a layer of mozzarella and layer food and 20 of pieces of pepperoni and uniformly distribute distributed and add a few cases of salami the last we sprinkling grated cheese and oregano to our pastry and by for 10 to 50 minutes at um, 108 and read. Finish. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Maria. Thanks for doing your best. Well, at the end, I will provide uh, some feedback, okay, to everyone. Thank you very much. Now, Gladys. Okay. Yo no hice una comida específica, pero sí hice como un postre choco banana. Okay. Ingredients: banana, cho banana, chocolate, golden stick, color sprinkles or chopping span panut. And metal. First, cut the banana into parts. And second, insert the stick into the cut banana. Third, freeze the banana. Um, melt the chocolate in a vine maria. Add the melted chocolate to the frozen banana. Add the color sprinkle or chopped spirit. Finally, to enhance the chocolate. chocolate. Finish. Okay, thank you very much. The choco bananas are very delicious. <laughs> very, very delicious. Uh, thank you very much. Let me see, Edgar. 
after Edgar Daniel. Okay, Daniel, go ahead, please. Okay, my receipt is about strips beef or el equivalente de fajitas de res. Ingredients, one pound of beef, one tablespoon of oil, two onions, two green pepper, one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of salt or beef seasoning. Preparation. Cook the meat into a strip, cook the onion into a strip, cut the chili into a strip. Marinate the meat with salt, pepper to taste. Cook the meat with little oil. Cook the meat evenly. Remove meat. Fry the onion and pepper. Season the ingredients. Mix the meat, onion, and green pepper. Cook for a few minutes. Ready. And it's ready, right? And it sounds very delicious. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you very much. Well, we're going to listen to, let's see, Daniel. Uh, Berenice. After Berenice Belen, and we finally will listen to Aidan. It's a little. Yes, pancake. That in this, you need uh, one egg, one cup of flour, one cup of milk, powder, salt, and sugar. Just have six steps. The first one is put a cup of flour in a bowl and a little salt. And two, add an egg and a cup of milk. The step three is put the butter in a pan. And the four, add the mixture. And finally, we toss the pancake and you eat it. Okay. And then you eat the pancake. I think the last part was is the is the, the <laughs> most interesting part, right? <laughs> I, I like that command. Okay. <laughs> eat the pancake. Yes. Okay. Please eat the pancake. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that one. Okay. So thank you, Berenice. And I said, after Berenice, Belen. And after Belen. Okay, Eran. And actually, Aníbal is going to participate also. Okay, Belen, go ahead. Okay. Um, my recipe is a pizza pepper. And the ingredient is tomato. Uh, one pizza mar, mozzarella, pepperoni, radish, cheese, salami, and oregano. For step one, uh, first on the mask, we split a layer of tomato paste with the help of the meat. Then we place a layer of mozzarella, and later uh, we cook 20 slices of pepperoni and uniformly distributed. Uh, we add a few pieces of salami. By last, uh, we spring spring gravy, uh, cheese, and oregano uh, to our taste. We bake for uh, 20 or 15 minutes at uh, 100 and ready. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, Belen, that was it. Fantastic, Belen, that was good. Thanks for doing your best. Okay, we're going to listen to Aiden. Hello. Hello, Aiden. Okay. One moment, please. Okay. It's banana smoothie with milk. 
uh, you need less than five minutes to make it. Uh, you can use fresh or frozen bananas. It's easy to adapt to what you have in the kitchen. This, this smoothie is perfect for breakfast or a snack. Um, how, how to make the best banana smoothie? My basic smoothie recipe call for, for some ingredients. Banana, uh, half on an orange yogurt, water or milk. To make the smoothie, I add everything into a blender and the blend until smooth. Smooth for an icy cool smoothie, throw uh, in a half or ice or use frozen fruit. Finish, teacher. Okay. Okay, pretty no, good. Rico, rico licuado de guineo. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like and it says I, that the kids uh, love I, it, right? I, I like it. <laughs> I think I think everybody likes it. Okay, especially kids. Okay, thanks. Uh thanks, uh, Aidan. And now we're gonna listen to Aníbal and then we're gonna start with the topic for tonight, people. Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, my recipient is baked potatoes and chicken. Uh, these are the, green, the, the ingredients. Uh, four chicken breasts, two potatoes, two tablespoons uh, of oil, one, one half teaspoon and salt and pepper. After getting the, the ingredients, you should one, Peel and shut the potatoes. Two, root uh, the potato and the chicken be pressed with oil, salt, and pepper. Three, put them, put them in the preheated oven and bake. Uh, then exactly for 52 minutes in the oven at about uh, Se me olvidó 180 grados. <laughs> For serves the bake a chicken and potato with your favorite dressing or salad. That what that was it. Quite straight forward, right? <laughs> okay, now let me see. Los números, no claro. <laughs> yeah, no, let me see. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio con los números porque ya me afligieron que van a pasar al, al básico 3 y algunos tienen dificultades con números. Espérense. Voy a hacer un paréntesis. Cinco minutos voy a quitar acá. Cinco minutos de porque se me encendieron las alarmas ahorita. Pues miren todos en el chat. Yo voy diciendo a alguien que me lea es el número, por favor. Números completos, no, no los van a estar separando, por favor. Aníbal. One, two, three, four. Sorry. That'll be tricky, okay? So I want you to read it like a whole number. 1,234, how do you say that? One, two, three. No, I'm not going to be Okay, so. Homework. 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 Hey, todos, a, a memorizarse los números hasta por lo menos hasta el, hasta, hasta el 10,000 se los pueden, deben de saber. 10,000. Es que de ahí solo van. Hey, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, one thousand, two thousand. Eso, me debe ustedes lleguen a mil, ya se van dos mil, tres mil, ya eso es, se va como, como repitiendo, ¿verdad? One, one thousand, eh, two hundred, etc. So, let me see. Eh, let me see. Voy, voy a probar con cinco personas nada más. Uh -huh. Yo se lo leo, voy a ver si, si es así. Ok, María. <laughs> second one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, one thousand, two thousand. 
that for right, Maria. Es, es el que de poner. Sí. Eh, 1,234. Ah, okay. Now, the other one, Maria, please. Otro. Ah, okay. Eh, 546. 546. Pretty good. Very nice. <laughs> Four thousand and five hundred sixty-three. Great, very yeah. good, Daniel. Nice thousand eight hundred zero six. Eight hundred six. Okay, pretty six, good, six. Michael. Michael, Michael, yes, yeah, tell me the next one, please. Uh, three thousand, three thousand six hundred seventy three. Okay, and the last one, pretty good, Jonathan. <risa> um, vamos a ver está uh, um, That is 2,546, uh, no. Yeah, 546, <clears throat> 546. Okay, okay, people. Now, okay. do me the favor. Now, I can see that you don't have too, too many problems with numbers. Veo que, pues, no, no hay mucha dificultad en realidad con, con los números. Pero si alguien todavía tiene dificultades con números, por favor, tómenselo en serio, porque los números, eh, pues, se ocupan en todo, en todo plática casi en toda situación, ¿ok? All right, so... Let me una see. pregunta. Tell eh, me, Mary. Para decir, para decir grado, como, así como así en, en las recetas que dice ponerlo tal vez al horno a 180 grados, un ejemplo. Uh, 180 degrees. Freeze o De grado? Degrees, no, degrees. You say degrees. De Degrees. De, yeah, degrees like that. Okay. okay. All right. So now, yes, people. Bueno, me tomé unos minutitos con los números, pero hoy sí ya vamos con el tema de esta noche. Please, 100% concentrated, people. Uh, well, uh, meanwhile, I share the information I have in here. Les voy a hacer uh, algún, algunas observaciones, ¿ok? No los detuve porque el tiempo, pues, no nos iba a dar como para ir haciendo este, observaciones de manera individual. Pero, este, sí noté alguna, algunas situaciones cuando ustedes iban uh, compartiendo sus, sus recipes, sus recetas. Um, for example, vamos a hacer un ejercicio acá. Uh, alguien que me ayude a leer, por favor. I really need that memo, Bree. Thank you. Just a moment, please. Okay. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Okay. Pretty good. Now, how do you pronounce this word? Just. Okay, so, uh, uh, let me see. Uh, let me see, I think there is another, another conversation. Uh, over here, I remember I saw one. No, but this will be, okay. So I will, I will try with this one, okay? So 
Let's try to read once again. Alguien que me ayude, porfa. Quiero llegar a un punto antes de comenzar con el tema. Okay. John, who reads John's part? I am John. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Okay. Any, anybody else? Someone else who wants to help me? I can be in. Sure. Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They will cancel today. Oh, that's so bad. Yes, I have to prov provide important information to some customers. That's very really interesting. All right, pretty good. Now, what's my point? Cuando yo los estaba escuchando con los recipes, me pude percatar que algunos eh, como que se dedicaron como más como para investigar, digamos, la, lo que significan las palabras. Pero cuando, digamos, yo les dejé una tarea, sea cual sea la tarea, y ustedes encuentran, digamos, vocabulario, eh, o, o, o leen y dicen, bueno, no, realmente no sé cómo, no estoy seguro cómo se pronuncia esto. No sé cómo se pronuncia en realidad, no, 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 no lo tengo claro. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esto? Esto tampoco. Esto creo que es de una manera, pero no estoy seguro y eso también. Ok, cuando yo los envíe a hacer tareas, y ustedes deben de, de identificar, así como lo he dicho yo acá, identificar palabras que no estoy seguro yo cómo se pronuncian o no sé en realidad cómo se pronuncian. ¿Para qué me va a servir este, eso? Bueno, después de eso, yo saco, por ejemplo, una, dos, tres. Tengo cinco palabras que realmente no... no, no. Tengo un poquito de problemas con, con ellas. No sé cómo pronunciarlas en realidad. Entonces voy y busco un, puede ser un traductor, puede ser un diccionario con audio, ¿ok? Y lo buscan ahí, se lo vuelven a leer. And is, is, there, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule the meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's a bad. Yes, I have to provide uh, important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Ah, and something else. Algo más. Uh, hay ciertas palabras que tienen sonido que nosotros no tenemos en español. Por ejemplo, customer. No decimos customer, no decimos uh, de otra manera, so customer, customer. Y si decimos, por ejemplo, esa palabra, doctor, doctor. Ok, hay que prestar atención a estos sonidos. Customer, doctor. Uh, cat. Eh, cuando, por ahí escuché cuando estaban en las recipes que mencionaron este verbo, es el verbo cortar, ¿verdad? O picar, decimos nosotros en buen, en buen salvareño, picar la cebolla. Ok, so cat. Cat, cat. Pero ¿qué tal si lo pronunciamos co como eso? Cat. 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 Ok. And is there another, another word? Cat. cat. Oh, oh, also, we, we studied about this one tonight, right? Coat. Cat. Cat. Coat. Ok. So, suena muy similar. Pero en realidad la pronunciación es diferente. Ok. Entonces, cuando hagamos tareas, identifiquemos también pronunciación. Ese es mi punto, ¿ok? Ahora, eso era respecto a, a las presentaciones de, de esta noche. Pero hoy sí vamos con el tema. Ok, people. Well, it happens that we are in church of working with need to and have to. So in here, I have the verb need. And it, it is the only one that appears over here, right? I really need that memo, Bree. Just a moment, please. And I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. 
right away. Right away. What's the meaning of that expression, people? Right away. We say right away. What do you say in, in Spanish? De inmediato. Immediately, right? Right away, immediately. Right away. I'm doing it just right now. Now, expressions to state in urgency. It's very important. I really need it. Okay? Expressions to state urgency. Okay, little by little. Well, I'm trying to introduce the topic because, you know, uh, we're going to actually we're going to study like four verbs not only needing and have two but four well I we're gonna get back to this to this um this is a letter right per word reader and this is an email and organize the activities where Lupe needs to do by importance okay so we're gonna do it later okay what does she need to do first what does she needs to do second what does she need to do third? And what does she need to do uh, finally? Okay, so, but we're gonna get back with this exercise. I wish I will share a presentation as I usually introduce the topics. And it's about these verbs. Okay, you're going to help me to read, okay? I want you to be awakened. Okay, so there are four uh, verses over here. And which are these verse, people? Well, today, tonight, we are in church to talk about have to and need to. Yes or no? So these are the topics for tonight. But we are going to include like two and one two in order to have some review. I know that you already know about this verb. And also about this verb, and the new ones maybe are have to and need to. Okay. Well, let's start. Like to. What does like to refer to, people? Vayan ayudándome, por favor. A modo que la clase sea más interactiva. Like to refers to. Hello, hello. Light to. Meaning? ¿Qué significa light to? En inglés. Light to. Mean... Sorry? Light to. Disfrutar. Ah. Ah, okay. So, okay. So, let us, let us try to read, please. Vamos a, vamos a ir leyendo el significado en inglés, ok? Poco a poco nos vamos a ir diciendo. Y cuando yo les diga, hey, what's the meaning of light to? Más adelante se van a dar cuenta que uh, cuando estén, digamos, en intermedio o, o ya en otros niveles, el profesor les va a ir diciendo, hey, what's the meaning of light to? Uh, well, light to means enjoy or approve. Les va a pedir el significado de las palabras en inglés. ¿Ok? Entonces vamos a ir, nos vamos a ir acostumbrando de esa manera. Hey, what does light to mean? Well, like to means enjoy or approve. Enjoy or approve. Okay. I like dogs. I like dogs. They are beautiful and smart animals. That's the example, right? So do me the favor to close your microphone, please. Los que no están participando, cierren por favor micrófonos. Ok, muy amables. Hey, I like to eat. Like to eat ice cream. Ok, so as you can see here, we have like dogs. Hey, I like dogs. I like, the, I like parks. I like lakes. I like rivers. I like whatever, right? So, but those are nouns. Si ustedes se fijan. Son nombres, hey, me gustan los perros, los gatos, me gusta ir al lago, ok, pero me gusta ir, me gusta comer el sorbete. Cuando ya lo cambiamos a un verbo, me gusta, utilizamos to, to eat, vamos a utilizar un infinitivo. Like to eat, like to drink, like to study, 
like to, like to, like to, okay? So if you're gonna use like a verb, it's delicious. I like to wear jeans. I like to wear jeans. They are comfortable and casual. One, two, what's the meaning of one, two people? One, two, what does one, two mean? Good. One, two means desire. Desire. All right, ah, desire. desire. Yeah, desire. desire. So ya ven, ya ven cuán, cuán significativo es ir aprendiendo, digamos, qué significa una palabra en inglés, aprendemos. Want to, y aprendemos cómo decir la otra palabra también en inglés. Want to, desire. Now, uh, desire, uh, uh, look at the situation. Maybe they are in a restaurant and, and the waiter say, hey, can I help you, sir? Yes, please. I want a cheese pizza. Desire. Another example. Can I help you, miss? Yeah, please. I want to buy a new blouse. I want to buy a new blouse. Desire. Now, over here, this is what really matters to us tonight. Esto, es, esto sí mm -hmm. es el tema que nos compete hoy, hoy en esta noche. Hey, what does have to mean? Have to mean. Obligation. Uh, have to refers to obligation, right? So obligation. Example, we have to wear a uniform. We have to wear uniforms. Obligation, we have to. We have to wear. Have to, obligation. Okay. Need to. What's the meaning of need to? Necessary. Necessary, right? Thank you, Jonathan. Need to, necessary. Ne necessity, right? Necessity. Yeah. Example, you need to take some aspirin. You need to take some aspirin. You need to. Aspirin. Yeah. Perfect. Now, let us read this. Then it says obligation. You are going to complete it. I'm tired, but we're all night long. I. ¿Qué es lo que le hace falta a la oración? Have to. Have to. Very good. Hey, I have to work all night long. Okay, obligation, right? I'm tired, but I have to work all night long. Good. Second one. I'm thirsty. Drink some water. Need to. Mm -hmm. Oh, now, now, read the whole statement, please. Ayúdenme a leer toda la oración, por favor. I want to work. I want to see. I'm thirsty. 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 I'm thirsty. I need to drink some water. Excellent. Hey, I need to drink some water. Water. Okay. Need to. Pretty good. Pretty good. Next example. I'm strong because I exercise every day. I'm strong because I like to exercise every day. Okay, pretty good. The guy enjoys going to the gym, right? He likes to, to exercise every day. He says, I like to exercise every day. Good. I'm sleepy. Go home and sleep. I have to. <laughs> that is, that, that, okay, now that, don't think don't think that's personal information. No piense que le estoy preguntando acerca de información personal. No, 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 no. Hagamos los ejercicios, por favor. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. Uh -huh. I need, I need, I need, I need. Yeah, <laughs> it says I need, I need to, right? <laughs> I need, I need to go, I need, I need to go home and sleep. Okay. Now, there's an exam tomorrow. 
Uh, actually, tienen un examen eh, el viernes, ¿verdad? Bueno, el, el jueves ya tendrían que tenerlo terminado. ¿Ok? Ya que me recordó esta, esta señorita por acá. There's an exam tomorrow. I have to study hard. I have to study hard. I have to study hard. Obligation, right? Okay. Hamburgers are delicious. I like to eat I a like big hamburger to eat on Saturday. 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 I like to eat, uh, I like, yeah, hamburgers are delicious. I like to eat a big hamburger on Saturdays. Good. So as you can see, it's not difficult, right? But there is something that you need to keep into consideration. Now, uh, me, you, well, I love her. I... I want to marry her. I want to marry her. I love her. I want to. I want marry. to marry her. Now mm -hmm. she's thinking differently, right? Pobrecito, miren él, lo que está pensando y lo que está pensando es <laughs> totalmente diferente. ¿verdad? Bueno, así suceden las cosas. Hey, I love her. I want to marry her. Miren cuán engañado. Y la otra dice, I'm hungry. <clears throat> I want to eat pizza. I want to eat pizza, right? Wow. <laughs> That's it. Pretty good. Now, listen carefully. Listen carefully because tengo otra presentación, es más corta, pero aquí sí ya nos vamos a ir directamente a la gramática. Recuérdense que el viernes, bueno, mañana tenemos... Um, Repaso, tenemos este ejercicios. Ustedes deben preparar ejercicios, ¿ok? O algo que nos, que nos, que nos deje claro de que usted ha aprendido cómo se usa need to en have to. Y como le incluí like to en need to. Uh, sorry, uh, like to en, what, what's the other one? Uh, like to en, en want to. Like the other one, right? Want to. So, so tomorrow... So you look for it for an example for for I mean you look for an exercise or or a reading or you create a speech or what or something that you uh perfectly let us know that you learned. Okay, por supuesto yo voy a tener algunas actividades acá, pero ustedes van a enriquecer la sesión con su aporte. Let me see, I have something else over here. Yeah. Okay, now pay attention because over here, we're gonna go over directly to the verse that we are in church of tonight. So not, we're not gonna uh, talk about one, two, and like to know. We're gonna go directly to have to and don't have to. Positive and negative statements, right? With have to and don't have to. Well, over here, uh, we say that we, the, we, we use have to to talk about things. We have no choice. When we say we have no choice, that means obligation about things we are obliged to do. We can use have to. Hey, I have to. Ahora aprendimos otra para decir obligación. ¿Quién se acuerda? ¿Cuál es la otra expresión? Lo dimos al inicio de la right. clase. Right away. No. Must. Ah, Must. very Must. good. Yeah. Must. Must. Después van a ver ese tipo de... Estos se llaman modales. Okay? Después lo van a ver, pero por lo menos se van familiarizando. Ya cuando lleguen con el otro teacher y empiecen a ver estos, estas temáticas, ya ustedes están familiarizados. Por eso no, no, no vamos como profundizando en eso, porque ya esas son como como añadido a la temática que tenemos cada noche. All right. So we say that we talk about things. We have no choice. So that means that we are obliged to do, to do it. Okay. So we can, we can use have to. Well, uh, they also have to. I have to wear a uniform obligation. 
It means that there is no choice. Okay. A school, schools in El Salvador. Uh, okay, students in El Salvador uh, have to wear uniform. Have to wear a uniform. Okay. Obligation in El Salvador. In the United States, there are some schools. Uh, the, tell me. To talk about things you you can choose to do or not. We just don't have to. Now, this is the contrary, people. Okay, so this is lack of obligation. So when you use, when you use the auxiliary, do. Okay, so for example, I don't have to wear a uniform. Okay, so what is this? This is lack of obligation, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, give me a second, I will, I will try to do it again. I don't have to wear I, I don't have to wear a uniform. So what is this? This is lack of obligation. Okay. Lack. What is the meaning of this expression, people? Lack. Lack of obligation. So if you don't know the meaning of the word lack, look for it. So I don't I don't have to wear a uniform. This is the opposite, right? So I have to wear a uniform, okay, obligation. I don't have to wear a uniform. Lack of obligation, okay? So it's the opposite. Now, if you have any questions, just let me know it. Examples, we don't have to live near the hospital. We don't have to, okay? It means that there is another choice, okay? Living in a hospital, I don't think it's a good idea, right? You know, the ambulance sounding all the time. Uh, well, I don't think it's, it's, that is not suitable. Well, let me see. There is somebody in the chats. Michael, which PDF you're talking about, Michael? Uh, the, the, the PowerPoint, this PowerPoint presentation? Yes. Okay. I will share. Oh, okay, I will want to, uh, like to, have to, and need to. Okay. The example you were giving, the lack of, yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will do it. Now, let me see. Uh, the way we form, or the way we use the verb have, because this is the verb have, right? Have. The expression is have to, right? Have to for obligation. Okay, that's why we have have to. Now we have, uh, what is this? Third person. Third person singular. So he, she, it, uh -huh, has to. He has to, she has to, it has to. 
Michael has to, uh, Berenice has to, uh, the computer has to, okay? And then we need a verb. In this case, the verb were. He has to do the homework, he has to speak in English, he has to practice English, etc. right? But in this case, it's the verb beautiful. And the verb, notice that the verb is in the base form. Now, over here, we have different subjects, right? First person singular, second person singular or plural, first person plural, and third person plural. How? I have to wear a uniform. You have to wear a uniform. We have to wear a uniform. And they have to wear a uniform. Simple like that, right? So something that you need to keep in mind is that we have in third person singular, you're going to use it like has to. He has to, she has to, it has to. Okay? So whenever you need to... Whenever you have a question, just let me know it and I will try to help you. So in negative statements, negative. So we have the person singular again and the other subject pronouns, right? So, but when having third person singular, we're gonna use doesn't. He doesn't, she doesn't. It doesn't. He doesn't have to wear uniform. She doesn't have to wear uniform. It doesn't have to wear uniform. You know, and uh, with the rest, I don't, you don't, we don't, and they don't have to. I think it's, it's, well, I really like this PowerPoint because I consider it's, it's quite a uh, clear, the information is clear. Well, and that's it. Now, time for you to create something, people. What are you going to do? You said, no Tell me. Uh, se elimina the el negativo, digamos. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So when you have, yeah, I will get back. Vamos a regresar acá. So when you have this, yeah, I didn't clarify that, right? Cuando, cuando vamos acá al negativo, Si se fijan, lo que está en tercera persona es el auxiliar. Pero recuérdense que después del auxiliar, cualquier verbo regresa a... Pero en este caso nos vamos a quedar con have to. Have to. Ya no va a ser has. Ok. Ya no va a ser has. En, en, en oraciones positivas, sí. ¿verdad? Ahí sí es has. Thank you. Okay. You see? Has to. Now, time to create something. Creo que todavía tenemos un poco de tiempo. Okay, so do me the favor to complete this part. El ejercicio de la página 25, ayúdenme a completarlo, por favor. Tienen que ir este, identificando qué es lo que nosotros estudiamos esta noche. Y aparte de eso, es como irle dando eh, orden. Qué es lo que ella debe o necesita hacer primero, segundo, tercero y cuarto. Además de eso, necesito, bueno, les voy a pedir a algunos que me lo lean. Por supuesto, este, verificar pronunciación. Y justo nos alcanza para este, para este ejercicio. ¿Ok? Mientras ustedes se dedican a eso, voy a pasar lista. 
No me tardo, pero de cinco minutos pasando lista. Así que, déjeme ver. I'll stop sharing. Página 25. 25 people. 25. Ya, yeah, page 25. Okay, tonight is Wednesday the 28th. Aidan? Hello, teacher. Hello, Belen? Present. Okay. Claudia Veronica? Daniel? Present, teacher. Dina Maribel? Hello, Dina. Edgar. Present teacher. All right, Gladys. Present teacher. Thank you, Jonathan. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Elba. Present teacher. All right. Mario Cristobal. Present teacher. Thank you, Marta Berenice. Yeah, I'm here. All right, Michael. Yes, teacher. Let me see, there is somebody in the chat. Ah, Maribel, right? Thank you, Maribel. Maribel's in the chat. All right, then... Uh, Aníbal. Excellent. Norma Xiomara. Present okay. teacher. Oscar Antonio. Present teacher. Ronan. Present teacher. Okay. Teresa. Well, Teresa is a listener and also Vera Liz, right? Wow, people, congratulations. Hey, this group is, it's an excellent group. Este grupo es, es genial. Raramente falta alguien. Y yo sé que cuando alguien falta es por, porque realmente hay una emergencia y siempre, fíjense que, que funciona mucho, que si alguien tiene una emergencia, lo colo coloquen este, esa información en el chat de tal manera que los compañeros que verifican asistencia lo puedan este, dejar plasmado en el documento. Eso es importante. Well. Now, uh, well, this is going to be an activity that I will present on on Friday, okay? Uh, 
I will share a link in the WhatsApp group. And also here in the chat. Vale, voy a adelantar para que el, el viernes pues eh, le saquemos como el, el, el mayor provecho al tiempo. Ese, ese día, acuérdense que bueno, mañana es pura práctica, pasado mañana es pura práctica también. Además tienen, tienen el, el examen, ¿ok? Entonces quiere decir que mañana y pasado mañana, pues es, nuestras sesiones van a estar basadas en práctica, práctica, práctica. Por ahí les coloqué este, un, una, un enlace en donde usted, no sé si alguien sabe qué es origami. Creo que todos sabemos qué es origami, ¿verdad? En algún momento hemos trabajado origami, hemos hecho algo. Ok. El arte, el arte en papel. Yeah, that's right. So, entonces, el, para el día viernes, des, desde ya se los voy dejando para que pues no vayamos a invertir mucho tiempo en, 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 en que, nos, que, que estén, este, digamos, este, creando el, el origami acá, sino que la actividad va de esta manera. ¿no? Van a, a enseñarnos cómo, cómo hacer un origami, ¿ok? Uno sencillo, que ¿okay? no vayan a buscar un dragón ahí de, de no, que van a ocupar unas 20 páginas. No. Por eso les busqué un enlace donde dice Easy Origami. Origami sencillo, ¿ok? En donde eh, no se gasten más de unos dos minutos enseñándonos cómo hacer eh, lo que ustedes quieran traer acá. ¿Qué vamos, a, ¿Qué vamos a aprovechar con eso? Bueno, van a aprovechar a que nos van a dar instrucciones en inglés, vocabulario, ¿no? Como dicen doblar, como dicen no lo vayan a turrar, no lo vayan a estrujar. O sea, hay mucho vocabulario que estudiar ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, pues con eso nos, nos, nos vamos a encontrar una de las actividades con las que nos vamos a encontrar el, el viernes. Ok, nos muestran lo que crearon. Ok, y cómo se hace. Nos enseñan cómo hacer eso. Esa es una de las actividades que se vienen para el día viernes. Ok, so let's see. We want to try to finish. I lost it. No, it's over here. Okay, first off, I, wa I want somebody to help me to read this part. Now, pair word, read the email and organize the activities what the Lupe needs to do by importance. Okay, from Daniel Ruiz. Okay, vamos a ver cómo me lo leen. Let me see. Okay, Oscar, thank you, Oscar. Oscar, how do you read this part? Uh, from Daniel Ruiz at travels.com. That's that that right? Yeah. That's Now, yes. no, how do you pronounce? Give me a second. How do you pronounce this? Subject. Mm, subject. Okay. Subject. Yeah, subject. Sub subject. Now, when you speak a little bit fast, it's subject. Sounds like. Subject. Okay. No. Uh huh. Very important. That's for this month. For this month. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay. Dear Guadalupe, dear Guadalupe, these are some of stats for this month. Okay, now this, 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 yeah, come on, this. this, this, this. Hay unos sonidos que solo lo necesitamos alargar el sonido. Por ejemplo, aquí this. Por aquí, this. Solo alargamos el sonido. These are some tasks for this month. Okay. These are some tasks for this month. Okay. 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 Let me see. Okay. I read it. Uh -huh. I read it. You took you to contact the first three potential customers. Customers. And the list from Mr. Sanchez. Okay. 
You have three days to do it. Three hours each day. Kill the new queens, three queens, and give them catalog. Catalog information for jump. You have today to do if you want or each day. It's very important to send to late sales reports. All right. On May the 26th. The 26th and to write a new welcome letter for the new customer. You have one day to do it for us. Finally, visit your history in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it to our stay organized your week. Thank you, best regards. Oh, best regards. Uh, Daniel's wrist. Pretty good. Now, listen. So, uh, for tomorrow, also, uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, check pronunciation. Okay. Espero que todos todos estén listos para mañana con la pronunciación. Okay. Todos con de tal manera de que esto no no nos vamos no se nos va a escapar ni una palabra. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ni una palabra? Okay. Cada palabra importa. Okay. Cada palabra importa. Así que si ustedes leen, digamos, esta oración, these are some of the tasks for this month, ok, y si alguien pues tiene problemas con esa palabra, la escucha, la repite, la escucha, la repite, hasta que lo, obtengamos una, una lectura al 100% bien pronunciada, ok. So it's all for tomorrow. So thank you, Oscar. Uh, now, what happened, or what, what is the first activity the lady is doing, or has to do, or needs to do? First activity. Uh, first activity is visit the two historic in Santa Tecla. Okay, really need to contact first potential customer. Okay, leave from Mr. So you have three days. Yeah, that's right. Pretty good. Okay. And second is write a new welcome letter for the new customer. Mm -hmm. uh, and, listen, what about what about this one? Hey, call the new client from the last three weeks and give the catalog information for June. This is the first, right? First activity. Okay, then oh, no, this, that is the second one. This is the first one, right? To contact the first three potential customers. First activity. Second one, I the one I, I told you, right? Call the clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information on June the 20th. On, uh, for June. Okay. What will be number three or the third one, people? Number three. It's very number? important to say to, to lady sales reports on my 26th. That, that was the the third one? Yeah. And what would be the last one then? It's very important to say, yeah, that's right. So that's the third one. And the last one? Visit two stores in Santa Tecla. Visit the stores in Santa Tecla. Okay, so that's what he needs to do in that day. Now, people, uh, so far, we're supposed to, well, we actually uh, have to know how to use frequency adverbs and to talk about uh, comments, okay? And also, well, tonight I introduced and then we somehow we studied 
the verb have, have to and need to, and also like to and want to, which are not in the in the PDF over here, but I I I included them. Okay, so I think we're gonna stop over here. Now, if you have any question or doubts about what's coming tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, now this is the time. ¿Cuáles son las actividades para mañana? Perdón, si he hecho un page 45. Ok, thank you. Uh, Daniel, hágame el favor, Daniel, de tomar una captura de pantalla y co compartirla en el grupo. Eso, eso noté yo que la vez anterior funcionó mucho, porque algunos como que se, los que tienen problema, algún problema técnico, pues ahí les, les puede ayudar también. Okay, so pronunciation. What else? Van a buscar una actividad en donde nos comprueben en la clase que efectivamente han aprendido cómo usar want to, like to, need to, and have to. Okay? Ustedes eligen cuál actividad. Okay? Ustedes elijan. Ok, de una resolución de ejercicios que ustedes encontraron en la web, eh, o al hacer un repaso de una presentación, o alguna historia corta que visualizaron en donde se usaron esas palabras, bueno, algo que ustedes pues quieran compartirnos. Eso también se viene para el día de mañana. El otro, la actividad de, de la plataforma, y el día viernes, bueno, en sí. Now, tomorrow, también tenemos, tenemos que trabajar un rato en el midterm. Si lo pueden trabajar este, en algún momento del día, pues estaría bien. Y si no, pues eh, le asignamos que unos 10 unos minutos para que lo logren terminar este, mañana en la noche acá. Para el día viernes, es um, repaso de toda la unidad. Igual, ahí ustedes eligen, ustedes, ustedes identifican, bueno, acá, pues yo siento que acá, pues todavía tengo dificultades con esta parte, entonces ahí buscan una actividad eh, que les ayude a fortalecer esa parte. Y lo visualizamos el día viernes. Ok. So, I think we're going to stop by here. Si no hay preguntas, nos quedamos acá y nos vemos el día de mañana. All right? All right. See you okay. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Okay. Michael? Good night. Sí, este, no mandó la, el PDF de las diapositivas. Okay, Michael, I'll do it now. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Finish.